Well, Banco Popular earnings cap a mixed week for Spanish lenders with a 40% drop in profit. On Wednesday, BBVA reported a 30-fold gain in net income as it didn't repeat write-downs in the U.S. and as earnings surged in Mexico. Well, emerging markets business also helped Santander on Thursday. Europe's biggest lender beat estimates thanks to strong profits from Brazil. Still, both banks remained heavily exposed to their home market, where unemployment continues to rise and house prices fall further. While well, joining us now to talk more about Spain's banking predicament is Claire Kane, financial sector and analyst at MF Global. Claire, thank you so much for joining us. In terms of what we can expect from these Spanish banks, were you disappointed this week? Um, to be honest, I think they were pretty much as expected um, for, for most of the banks that reported. I think what we've seen from, um, given their large retail base, the, the earnings are pretty stable. The banks have said that the margin is clearly the area of the, of the most volatility for them. And we saw that in, in Q4 come through. The knock-on of the, the sovereign crisis clearly increased the, the wholesale funding costs for them. The ongoing deposit war um, you know, impacted the margin. So we saw sharp falls for, for most of the domestic lenders. And Claire, in terms of these margins, it's actually interesting. You say that the larger banks, BBV and Santander, were less affected due to uh, the relative strength uh, of their deposits. Yes, I think something that was surprising, certainly t to us here, was that um, the margin fell much slower than, than had previously at, at the large two lenders, particularly Santander. And I think that's partly because they, they initiated the deposit war back in uh, the first quarter of last year. And so they, they were much earlier cycle. Um, I think what we we've heard um, regarding margins is we've probably seen the worst now. We're expecting stabilization from here in Spain. Um, most banks can't afford to compete aggressively anymore mm -hmm. and the Bank of Spain is stepping in to, to try to reform the savings bank, try to bring in uh, private capital for them so that they don't need to, to, to take in so much uh, customer deposits. But overall revenue growth will be difficult to achieve and Spain will also continue to deleverage. Um, that's, that's definitely true. Um, you've got a system where loans are probably going to fall by a further 4% over the next couple of years. Um, savers will continue to save and so you have this deleveraging effect. The only way banks can really drive top line is to either take market share, which is a, um, you know, a good opportunity for, for the well capitalized banks and the stronger banks in the system because clearly we're having the savings bank closing down branches and they will lose market share uh, quite easily. Um, However, the only way to really do that when you don't have loan growth is to improve the margins, and that is proven difficult for, for most domestic lenders. Now, Claire, tell me which uh, would be your favorite picks. I know you, for example, like Santander and BBVA because they have more international exposure. If you had to be in Spanish bank stocks, are those the two that you'd get? Um, they are, most certainly, because I think they do offer good diversification. You have access to, to strong growth in Latin America at very cheap multiples relative to the sector. We have um, Santander and BBVA. BVA trading on about a 25% discount, seven and a half times this year's earnings, compared to about 10 times for, for the banking sector overall. Claire, thank you so much. Claire Kane there from thank MF you. Global.